I like them hills. Yeah. These wide tracks of land. So, freshman year of high school, I had a history teacher uh, who had to awkwardly explain political marriages and other things. Like, specifically, there was, like, one queen that was, like, super, supposedly super pretty. And eventually, uh -huh. he, he had to, like, explain more or less that she was just so busty that, like, uh, she was super popular uh, amongst <laughs> the, like, marriage candidates or whatever. As, like, uh -huh. I think she was supposed to be, like, 14-year-old. And, like, had the biggest chests in all of, like, uh. France or something stupid like that. <clears throat> uh, obviously, probably false, but that was the, like, that was the written account. Uh, and uh -huh. it was, like, very embellished and quite quite impressive. And it's just, like, trying to explain this to a bunch of, like, 14, 15-year-olds was apparently quite awkward. Because he was trying to, uh, he was trying to explain that. And also Unix. He had trouble with Unix. Because uh, somebody uh. didn't understand what a eunuch was. And he, like, didn't want to just say, like, they didn't have balls. So he's like, it's like a... Uh -huh. It's like pork and beans, but, you know, without the beans. And just this girl had to leave the room because she was so embarrassed. It was adorable. Why would she and very be embarrassed? I'm a 14-year-old girl. Uh, not, like, enough. not really a whole lot of experience one way or another. The True. Okay, I think I can... I don't. I have no clue what the hell just prompted the story, but I'm really glad you shared it because that's some funny shit. <laughs> I, don't, I, I honestly don't remember why... Oh, right. Wide tracts of land. That was one of the phrases he used for oh, the... Oh, uh, yeah. For I the uh, betitled uh, princess. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> uh. Okay, on completely alternative funny um, uh -huh. news. So, did I tell you about the guy that was making fun of me for having 17,000 subscribers? Yeah, and then everyone uh, harassed the shit out of him. Yeah, so yeah, he like kind of blew up at people afterwards being like, stop, you know, stop bullying me or whatever. It's like, uh -huh. okay, you know, I can kind of understand, like, being collectively shat on by, like, 20, 30 people is hard to work with. Mm -hmm. Um. But, so, uh, he actually made a YouTube video accusing me of cyberbullying. Uh-huh. And it's just titled, like, Wanderbot, watch this, or whatever. Uh, or, like, please watch this, uh -huh. Wanderbots. And he spends, like, the thir first 30 seconds, like, going to my YouTube channel to remember if that was the correct name or not. Um, and then he's like, you know, kind of explained his side of things, which is I went to this guy's channel and, you know, said he was weak for only having 17,000 subscribers. And then all these people started saying these mean things to me and I was only speaking my mind. Uh, but, you know, Dude, I'm sorry. It's freedom of speech, man. I know. I, I'm sorry, but uh, I'm reporting you for, for bullying. So, good luck. Uh-huh. And that, that was, like, how the video ended it. But, like, very obviously, like, not not very old. I think probably, like, 11 or 12 or something like that. I felt mm. bad. And then I felt like, man, now I do want to cyber bully him. Aww. <laughs> I don't know. Well, definitely like, don't do that. Yeah, it's just the smugness of which he said, like, I've reported you to YouTube for, for bullying was just For whatever it's worth youtube does not give a oh they do not that. i know and i was just like it you know with the smugness he was just throwing about there it's like i kind of want to just say something me mean, not mean-spirited but just like almost smug back but i know that would just be like mm -hmm. worse and i mean it's like i'm 25 i shouldn't be bullying intentionally a uh a, like 12 year old but man do i really want to be the bigger person. I mean, I am the bigger mentally person. mentally and physically. <laughs> so instead, I'm just gloating about it because apparently, by association of the YouTube commenters on my video, I am the one... Because he had already sent me a message asking me to um, tell people to stop bullying him, and I just ignored it because, I mean, he really did That's bring not... it on himself. 
And also, that's not how the, anything works. Yeah. I mean, it could <laughs> if, like, it was unintentional or, like, you know, accidental. But, okay. Yeah, so why don't we have it turn down this, like, little Dell place? Oh, God, making yep. anybody drive up this hill is going to be a nightmare. I love it. Oh, yeah. It's going to be horrible. <laughs> I mean, uh... It sucks for that person, but they... I mean, I, I mean, the kinda... idea of being like... He's basically saying, like, oh, I was speaking my mind, and I don't want to deal with any consequences of it. Yeah, I can it's be like, a well, dick. he's learned... And now, not... like, being a dick will, and, like, you should not be surprised if people actually catch on to the fact that you're a dick. Yep. You're gonna be one. <laughs> yeah. And so I was like, okay, you know, whatever, I'm just going to ignore it. Mm. I might leave a comment That's be like... That's the best thing you should do. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely, just ignore it, man. It'll yeah. blow over for this dude in, like, a week, and then everything will be fine again. I don't know if it and, will. And, like, the, this the is... more that he makes, like, videos and, like, makes a big deal out of this it... This is literally like... my most popular video, and people are still commenting on it. Like, his freakout was three days ago, and it is still growing pretty fast. I don't even know where this video is being, like, recommended on YouTube, but it's... Whatever uh -huh. it is, it's a bigger YouTubers. Uh... And so, as such, like, people are watching it, and then his is the number one comment that you run across, so... It's just some kid being nasty, and it's like... He's probably gonna get responses for the next, like, two or three years. Shitting on him. Damn. Yup. I've fucked up a lot of times in life. I've never done that. <laughs> I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay, I think that this uh, issues everyone nicely into the cornfield. I need to double check the path. Oh god, hi! <laughs> I just turned yeah, we made it. your path. We made it. Yeah. Alright. Oh, Almost so perfect. This takes us through. Uh, couldn't. Couldn't delete his own uh, comments. Couldn't want to delete the comment. Yeah, he actually probably could. You should Wait, be able to delete that comment. I can. The guy can. Yeah. Like, I have no reason to delete his comment when he can, too. But, like... Eh. Whatever. Yeah. I don't care. It's kind of an I oddity. I think for the good of the universe, maybe you should delete it. But at the same time... I mean, if it keeps getting... If it, if it keeps getting worse and worse, obviously. Uh-huh. But... I think for the most part, you'll just get, like, the occasional message from somebody being like, Lol. Fuck you. Well, I mean, yeah. mostly it was people making fun of him for only having one subscriber, which was probably his mother, and, you know, really just basic internet stuff. It wasn't, like, anything particularly, like, I know where you live, and that kind of yeah, more worrisome kind of stuff. Okay, I'm Did gonna... the dude even have videos? Like, was it a channel channel, or what? Actually, his first video ever was the one accusing me of bullying. And then his, uh, then past that he had a couple other things. This wall is not flush. This annoys me, but whatever. Eh. It's a really, really minor thing. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it makes it almost more, more of an obstacle. Yeah, if you bump it and get a tire stuck in there, oh well. What is Wander talking about? Bad YouTube comments. At some point, I'll get enough that I might actually just do the occasional video reading them out loud in a funny voice. Because I think that could be kind of uh -huh. amusing. I mean, what else can you do? I guess you could disable comments, but who's going to want to do that? Oh, I mean, if I ever get as big as, like, PewDiePie with an audience as toxic as, like, Total Biscuits. Yeah, probably. But I don't think I'm ever going to get well, there. Well, yeah, but Total Biscuit also intentionally became, like, a gamer hater, so... Oh, well, I mean, his... I think he actually disabled his com comments before Gamergate. It's just... He's always been a controversial person, so it's uh, always been a very contentious thing. Whereas, I know, with, like, PewDiePie's, it just was... Most of the comments were truly bad for a very long time. I did not know that PewDiePie disabled his comments. For a while. I think huh. he's brought them back, but yeah, they were they were down for a while. Wow. Yep. It's just the internet, man. Why, why does everyone have to be mad? It's because anonymity makes people d dumb. This is actually completely what the like, issue is. Really dumb. Like, there's just no consequences to saying shit on the internet. 
for the person saying this shit. So where are you and what are you working on now? Did you go back to like the beginning uh, or something? I'm, I went past the launch pad to continue working on uh, a little bit further ahead of the track. If you want okay. to come through here and like double check to make sure it's up to your vision, I, I wouldn't I'm, mind a second set of eyes. I'm continuing the uh, the wall to the edge of the map. Okay. Like I, I was gonna finish off this section of the track so we don't have to think about it again, and then we'll uh, then I'll come back and start looking at things. Okay, fair enough. Because I'm, I'm currently forcing everyone through various fields of corn and grain and shit like that, which I think is what you were going for. Oh, absolutely. The more inconvenient it, it is, the better. Oh yeah, uh, this is super inconvenient. But yeah, I think that in general, like, I try to, I try to be very mindful of what I say on the internet, and I realize that actually doesn't really fucking matter. Like, the, the. Yeah, the way I to mean, survive on the internet is to conform like crazy, and then you'll yes. be fine. <laughs> yeah, be like, as it doesn't matter how much thought you put into it, but if if you want to participate in internet cultures and utterly minimize your risk of ever winding up in a shitstorm, just straight yep. up like be the hive mind, and you're fine. Which sucks, but that's just the way it works. Zytoxine. You don't know scrap mechanic? What? I mean, I guess it's not that possible. I'm just imagining, like, a fan of mine not knowing what, what scrap mechanic is. is just so weird to me. Because <laughs> I've been, like... What was that uh, before, that? It'd be like somebody saying, like, Have you ever heard of Holy Potatoes, a weapon shop? Yeah, or Vigante. I... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I have people requesting that we play Prop Hunt again. I wish I could. wouldn't. I would love to play Prop Hunt again, but we're never going to get the people to do that again. I, I mean, it's going to be a while. I might be able to get, like, uh, Dude Puppet and, uh, like... The new, uh, Icy, the new family. Icy Chris. Yeah. Maybe. Work on that. I don't know. It really depends on the summer. Plus, if I'm living in Dallas, yeah, I might be able to, like... I have no idea what summer's going to look like for me. What well, my basic plan is, I'm going to try and backlog the entire summer, so I don't have to think about it at all. Well, Which if you're bringing your laptop, possible. If you're bringing your laptop and you get like a capture card and consoles, we could do mostly console stuff over the summer. My my plan is to probably buy like a PS4 or something, yeah, yeah and get an cause, Elgato. Because that would give us Bloodborne, which would take a while. Yep. I think people would love uh, uh, us to do Bloodborne. Yep. I would love to for us to do Bloodborne, because as much as I love Bloodborne, I don't want to play it alone. I did not enjoy playing it solo. Huh. Like, it was fun, but it, it was kind of one of those where, like, Dark Souls is predictable. Bloodborne was Bloodborne's very, like... Not. Uh, uh, all the bosses are fast. I'm not a fast boss guy. I prefer my yeah. bosses... Bigger, slower, with very predictable and interesting, um... The Pontiff must have been fun for you. I just started blocking him and it actually got really easy. Actually, I noticed that too. The second I started using the shield and started doing more than like, pew for damage, yeah. it became yeah. so much easier. Yeah, so... Actually, it was really the damage that did the main, main difference, I think. Yep. Actually, Even uh... It's just the stupid broadsword. Fun Why does fact: that thing Scale so good. I, I mean, it's amazing, especially if you reinforce it with the thing that makes uh, your stuff scale even better. Um, yeah, I need to do that. Yeah. Uh, People are asking me what is air. So air is basically this thing that hangs around in the air. Wait, shit. Uh, so air is like, it's it's like a it's an Apple device, right? Like it's a. No, no. Air is like a fart that doesn't smell bad. Ah. What if it smells yeah. bad? But what? it's not a fart. Uh, oh shit! Then it's not air. I didn't. I I didn't mention this, but I think it was like Saturday night or Friday night you or farted. something like that. Dude, that's no. hilarious. Dude, a oh. skunk was outside my window, and like for the rest of the oh. like the next day, I could just smell it. It was a t it was awful. Dude, skunks. Okay, not just cartoons. They legit smell. Horrible. Yeah, it smelled like it smelled like somebody had not washed in like ten years and decided mm -hmm. to uh, do laundry uh, with fire outside <laughs> my window, 
And that was it. Oh. And it was... It was gross. Yeah, I've... I've smelled skunks before when I've gone camping, and it's just like... Damn it! Like, I was having a great day up until literally this moment, and now, like... I have to try and figure out how to salvage this terrible, terrible afternoon. Foxel, I know what you were going for, but you should know my sense of humor now is to basically be dumb and weird at all times for YouTube. Yeah. I didn't mind too much because I went to bed like an hour later, but it was just like a, that is, that is skunk. I, I was mm. actually mostly impressed because like I don't smell skunk very often. And it's just like a, uh -huh. that is an incredibly useful survival mechanism. And I can totally respect them for having it. At the same time, whoo that was <laughs> stank. I was yeah. also really tired. I also have like an extremely, uh, extremely reduced sense of smell. So like, same here. If, I was a, if I was a normal person, I think it would have bothered me more. But I was like, mm -hmm. hey, this is the first thing I've smelled all day. It's skunk, but like, at least I can smell something. Because, like, right now, if you ask me what things smelled like, I'd be like, hell if I know. I can't. Yeah, I I can't really smell anything. And in addition to that, I, uh, I can barely taste things, too. Like, my oh, sense I've got of a, taste is terrible. I've got a really sensitive sense of taste. Um, to the point where, like, yeah, certain you've things actually that a lot. <laughs> uh, I don't drink soda because my taste buds are so sensitive. Because mm -hmm. it actually hurts. It's really strange. Hmm. This track, after the launch pad, is really fun, by the way. Okay. I am really looking forward to, like, the crazy shenanigans we're gonna do with this thing. Yep. Well, at some point, Stainless and Purple will rejoin us, probably, maybe. I found out that earlier today that uh, Bad Stainless and Rockwar are doing a series together. Really? And I sort of asked Rockwar, how can anyone tell when it's one of you talking versus the other one? And Rockwar says that uh, some people actually haven't caught on that it's a co-op series. What are they doing together? Uh, Overwatch. Oh. Huh. When did they find the yeah. time? Those are like the least two reliable people I've ever... Like, man. Stainless is, used to be very reliable. Oh, yeah, Let's super. Give him that credit. Then his work got busy, like, and then it's just, like, yeah. gone. I didn't say it was, like, Rockwar and Radiant doing a co-op series. Well, I mean... They've attempted a couple. Well, I, I, that's how I met Rockwar. Like, they were friends before... Yeah, same here. Uh, they were friends before I even ever brought Wa Rockwar onto anything, much less Ra Radiant. Mm. Yeah. Ooh. I met them for a roguelike called, like, Full Mojo Rampage, which was awful. Sounds awful. This is the first time I've heard about it. It was, it was like, it was okay. It was like a twin-stick shooter type one, but, um... Uh -huh. With, like, gauntlet -y mechanics, but it just... It wasn't fun. It almost was okay. Almost. But not really. Instead of those two guys get Spider and a random bum off the street to play... I if don't we're mind talking about Spider, but I'm very, very confused about the idea of the random bum. Eh, whatever. Also, the concept of trying to get Spider to show up to anything reliably is probably even harder. It's not even reliably, dude. I would be surprised if Spider showed up to anything ever again. Did we ever manage to get Spider and Crafty Gnomes? Yeah, we did. Did we? To do what? They played Prop Hunt together. Yeah, that was about Once. it. Okay. Yeah. Let's see, why isn't Bird helping with me with the track? Oh, he is. He's just on the other end. This is a long track. Yeah, this is a map-spanning super track. Don't you worry. Well, it's more like half I'm to a third here, of the map. I'm just over here, like, sipping my lemonade and, you know, doing nothing to nothing. You know, at some point so we should helping. do this without the walls. We should just put, like, markers every once in a while and you have to go through them. Like, you know how slaloms have those, like, goalposts? Yeah, but how are we going to enforce that? Walls are going to uh, be way easier, especially if you have Well, no, 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 no. For, like, a bigger map. So, like, you have to go to the top of a mountain and then back down. Oh, yeah, yeah. That'd actually be pretty fun. And so, yeah. like, if you cheat, it's super obvious because you made it to the end really fast. And uh -huh. also, like, honestly, I mostly trust people to not cheat in these. Same generally. 
Like, okay, sometimes it'll what be like... What advantage would you gain from it? <laughs> yeah, sometimes it'll be like adding thrusters. When you shouldn't mm -hmm. have added thrusters. Alright, whatever. Honestly, those have just as much of a chance of backfiring as they are of, like, helping you and stuff. Yeah. So, going off the cliff isn't going to work because I have to make the track very wide. Uh, but I'm going to rock and roll with a bridge instead. And we're not going to put railings on the side of the bridge so you can knock other players, like, out of bounds and, like, off into, like, the lower level and stuff. Sounds good. <laughs> you can also make the b bridge rotate very slowly. Uh, not a terrible idea, because that would keep, make the race more interesting by giving people a chance, an opportunity to catch back up. Yeah. Because I could imagine, like, certain vehicles just having a really hard time trying to deal with that. Yeah. Which could be really fun. That's a, that's a good idea. Let's roll, let's roll with that. I hate those, I hate those bridges in, like, any race or video game. It's just like, here's a bridge. Also, fuck you. And it's like, uh-huh. <laughs> It's like we're combining racing with mini golf at this point, and I love it. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to keep an eye on Slack a little bit just to see, because um, I wanted to get Keith's final confirmation on moving out, and it looks like he's pretty down with it. I sent him, like, four options and within a minute he's like, one of these has a second uh, second floor. I haven't seen anything like this since Japan. I was like, Japan? Japan? Keith yeah, was really Japan? I have no idea. Like, that's the one thing about Keith. What? I know nothing about him. Yes. It's so weird. Like, we know so much about you and me and more than either of us would want to know about Andrew. I don't oh, know yeah. anything about Keith, apart from, I guess he wanted to be a graphic designer, then he went for computer science, because game design, and then, uh, archaeology? No, not archaeology, geology. geology. And yeah. then... Uh, YouTube. YouTube, Yay! because it's the only thing in his life that doesn't make him feel dead inside. To paraphrase... And then, what oh. did he say? It was some. He usually says something to that effect. But I, I, he put it very nicely ish once when he said, uh, "I do YouTube because it's the only thing that makes me feel like I'm progressing in my life." I mean, it's I true. Like, like well, there is something. I don't ever feel like that. <laughs> there's something super addictive about. Uh, there's something super addictive about, uh, like getting more subscribers and whatnot on YouTube. How did I get turned around here? God. My hovercraft is too fast for this uh, racetrack, especially this hard part. Mm hmm. Oh. That's oh. A, That's good. Oh, God. What are you making me do? Dude, yeah. What the fuck? Am I supposed to go through this, like, shitty wooded area and then, like, are, am, are we looping around? Looping around what? What are you talking about? I, I'm so confused. Your wall just, like, hit a dead end, and then I have no idea where I am, and now I'm stuck in a tree. What I don't is know this? where you are at all, by the way. I'm, I'm on the hill that we're supposed to, like, go off. That we're supposed to go off? You know, the... the, the oh... The, are you on the right one? Yeah, I am, because I, I just went over your... Where are you? Uh, I'm currently outside the track making the uh, bridge. Very hard to make a giant rotating bridge, by the way. Oh, I see you. Where are you? Are you above me or something? Uh, I see... Turn around. You see me? Turn no. around to your left. Uh, there you are. Okay, so oh. looking at me. There I am. Okay, so we, we are going up this hill. Yep. Sort of. Okay, I'm going to revise this track a little bit so we have a little bit more room to maneuver. Trying to get through this, like, hellscape is going to be... Uh, there's not really much of it. Oh. Oh, dude. Uh, you have this wall that's, like, blocking off, and then you have to go up this, like, shitty area. I'm going to cut that out a yeah. little bit. We're going to have them go up the road. Because trying to go up that shitty area is just too much tree. I thought you said you wanted us to go through that shitty area. And I was like, okay, you're the boss. 
that is more shittier than I wanted to. I wanted the, right. the like, I, I like the, the turn, but that area is just too shit for me. I think. All right, all right. I, most vehicles aren't going to be able to get through it. We could try. I'm picturing, I'm picturing a really bad rapper now called a uh, two shit. <laughs> we could try, but I don't, I don't see most cars or vehicles getting through that. It's a, it's a tough one. You have to be very maneuverable. Yo, yo, yo! Shaggy two shit here. Uh, gonna be chilling. He only shits hard. twice a week, but when he has to go, <laughs> boy, does he have to go. <laughs> nah, it's just like one, like, little, like, solid gold turd nugget. Just a diamond. Just literally yeah. a diamond. I can see it. He eats nothing but, like, pencil lead for the carbon. And then he shits out a diamond every yeah, week. He just eats, like, meat. There's not that much carbon in meat, is there? Yeah, there is. Oh. Huh. Carbon is the main building block for life. Well, I mean, meat doesn't come from living things. Does it? Bird. Yeah. This is too stupid. Okay. <laughs> Let's go back to talking about the rapper who only shits twice. I don't want to fuck That's up people's like. Brow. I don't want to fuck up people's like high school science classes because you and I <laughs> can't take shit seriously. True. The, the, they'll be like, they'll they'll present our video as evidence and be like, the YouTuber clearly states, sir, that meat is not made of animals. I'm a reverent like, towards I'm sorry, many things. You're terrible. I'm a reverent towards many things, but a good good ed education I will not knock. Let's see, I've ever had a Domino's lava cake before. Nope. I do not buy that stuff. Uh, I make that stuff. If you have a tire with tires that are attached to it and they're spinning the same direction, will that cause the tire in the car to drive faster? No, tires have weird physics. Yeah, tire physics in this game. But what is does what makes a very garbage. interesting question though is like, what would it be like if you drove like a small tire with a fast tire? Do you get like a gear thing going on? That could be interesting. Uh, we have never messed with that. Oh, we probably should. God, this bridge is too heavy. Why don't we just make a normal? I love bridge? it. Oh, dude, who cares? Look at this thing. It's so cool. Okay, I'll be up in a second. I've lost my car. I don't know where they are. Fine. This kind of works nicely, actually. <laughs> wow, it's like a ramp. I know. So then you reach the other end of it, and uh... wait, bird. Question: What the hell are you doing? This is to cross over to the other ramp so we can continue along this side. Okay, I'm just curious. How is this and supposed then go to on rotate? The outside. How is this supposed to rotate? It's not going to rotate. It's not going to rotate. Dude. Oh wait, I'm just going to let it be this. The tree would ruin everything there's many, anyway. There's too many trees in the way, so you're just gonna land on this thing and, uh... Yeah. Like, just enjoy the fact that we have a ramp, basically. Yeah. Okay. And then, and then uh, from here you can, like, fly off and then, uh... And then the track will continue, yep. like, around Makes sense. here. I like yep. this. I, I like the little loop-to-loop -loop we've got. This is going to mess people up. Oh, no, I... That's why I thought you wanted this area. I thought this I, was, like, a beautiful little thing to do. I did not have this in mind, but I'm okay with it. It's also a skinny-ass ramp, so landing on this thing is going to be half the challenge. Also, the trick will be, like, if you go off the ramp like you think you should, that uh, takes you out of the course. <laughs> oh, so you mean, like, if you really motor it? So Dude, what you, you have to do is fly just... off the ramp. That takes you out of the course. <laughs> you have to go to the end of the ramp and then, like, shimmy <laughs> off the side of it. <laughs> just drop. Yeah, exactly. That's hilarious. That is going Dude, to mess a trap. people's it's a bird. day up. You know, I might it's actually see bug. if I can get, like, a uh, drain company to show up for once. Um, right. To, like, do this. For the grand opening of this. Yeah, it could be fun. Yeah. Because, like, I know Dre is, like, amenable to joining us for things. He just goes to bed at 8 p.m., so, like, if we started at 6 for once, we'd actually be able to get him to show up. Oh, God. I think I messed things up terribly. 
I apparently physics decided to take kind of a break on this. Huh. Yeah, I, I spotted my this car. Ramp earlier. is um. I'm gonna put a controller on this thing. Is it? Is it? There's like, so no way. This is this is going too bad. This is not good. Is it tilting in all of the wrong? Uh I'm gonna take that as a very definitive. Oh, the. I think we can call this problem solved. Yeah, there we are. That's uh. Right. That um. That that is one for the crap mechanic reel. That was glorious. Did you fix it? Yeah. So it basically completely detached from the bearing. Oh. And so I stuck it on a controller and it's so heavy that that fixed it enough that it still works. Let me see. There really aren't words to describe what the hell just happened and is continuing to happen, but I like it. Huh. This worries me intensely. It's a risky ass proposition. Isn't I don't it? think most of us are going to be able to drive a vehicle off of this. Yeah, I gotta figure out a way to like prop it up a little bit on this side. Um. Yeah. I don't know. Do you see me in this, by the way? Uh, yeah. This thing needs to be propped up somehow. I well, have no idea how to do it. It also needs to be a lot wider. Yeah, we'll make it wider for sure. Cause like this is the basics of trying to figure it out. I tried thinning myself out and I missed because I think what we want to do. God, the texture looks so weird from here. Um. What we might want to do is thin it out to, like, one block, prop it up on the other side, then fatten it out, because then it won't drop down too much. Uh, you have to run that by me again. Okay, so cut off all the excess so it gets really light, so we can actually prop it back. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to put thrusters on the bottom of this. No, then it's going to flip, dude. What? No. No, it's not. If it's like a light thruster and I've got it attached to a seat. Alright, whatever you say. This is disconcerting. There we go. I'm right. just gonna... I, I, or I could just take it off the bearing. Do we want to do that, though? That, that'll, that like, make it fall really weird. No, 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 no. Let, no, no, no. If we take it off the bearing, we have to rebuild it. That's what yeah. I'm saying. So we don't want to... I don't, I don't want to do that necessarily. Bird... Give me a chance here. Come down to this side. I'm gonna lift this bridge up. Okay, you want me to extend it and then attack, and then like make it go all the way to the end, or what? Yeah, yeah. We'll just prop it up, and then okay, we so will. Sounds good. On the yeah. We'll give uh, it a shot. Did yeah. the game just crash? No. No, I might have just dropped a couple of frames. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's okay. I'm looking forward to moving. And paying for really expensive internet that doesn't have this problem. <laughs> the rent is so cheap, though. It's gonna be like four hundred dollars for Keith and myself. And That's like, ridiculous. It's gonna be so good. You mean? Like, wow. That's each. really good. Yeah, I know. I know what you meant. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> Are you thrusting it? It's rotating. Yeah, you have to be. This is really it is worrisome. rotating. Yeah, we need to we need to take it off the bearing. This doesn't make any sense otherwise. No, 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 no. Just just lighten the load in the middle. Ow. Just just Can cut we just off. off some parts of it. All right. Yeah. Extreme. Oh, weight loss surgery. All right. We'll we'll give this bridge lipo and figure it out from here. Yeah. Uh, this samurai lipo. <laughs> Gross. Yeah. The kind no Ow, one oh, wants. Damn it. Oh yeah, you can press E a second time. That's useful. For what? Oh, uh, to close like the thruster wind window. I like that. Yeah, it's a really, really nice like little time saver right there. Okay. 
Oh, this is. Oh. Oh, oh. oh no, no, oh. no, 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 no. <laughs> well, it's. Uh... <laughs> Wander. I think it's fixed. No. no okay, it okay, lower it back down. Lower it back it's, down it's gently. Down. <laughs> let, me, let me do something. Let me do something. Don't move. Okay. I mean, it's it's kind of fixing itself. I don't know what the hell it's doing. <laughs> I think we might want to put another thruster or two on the side to get it to point the right direction. No, 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 no. Here's the plan. Okay. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna get back up onto the bridge and we're gonna fix this. I'm gonna fix okay. it right. Okay. This is the dumbest thing. Alright. What are we're you gonna take do? The, we're take the controller off like that. Alright. Go ahead and start thrusting. I promise to break everything. It's working! <laughs> no, it's not! No, that's what I mean. It's working at breaking everything. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> huh. So. Yeah? Alternate plans. <laughs> I, I, I called it an audible. I'm sorry. Okay. I killed everything. So, Bird, I th I'm going to start building from this side with the bearing. It's going to no, be a no ramp. No bearings. We've already had no, enough no, no, bearings. No, 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 It's just going to be a ramp that slopes down. But, oh, okay. Oh, I see. I see what you're saying. You want it to slope down from the cliff towards here over the track? Yeah. But... It's way more fun to have a thing that ramps up, and then you have to, like, not go off the end of it. Okay, so, Bert, like in that trick. case, in that case, what you're going to do is build up the wall on that side, on the opposite side of this ramp here. You're going to make a build support. You're going to make a support column. In fact, you've just built it. Yeah, that's what Ma Make another on. one of those parallel. I'm going to build Damn the it. ramp over there. It's not going to be a ramp. It's going to be a bridge that abruptly stops, and if people take it too fast, they go outside of the map. Perfect. That's all I want. That's okay. all I want, Wander. When you mean parallel with the support thing, you mean, like, put up another one right next to it. Yeah, right? so there's two of them. Uh, just... Okay. In fact, actually, that doesn't even matter. You don't need to build a damn thing. Come to think of it. No, I really don't. Because I'm not putting this on a bearing anymore. It's just going to be just straight across. This is a pain yeah. in the ass. I'm going to start killing the previous bridge because fuck this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. It was a very valiant attempt, but it's sort of like performing surgery on a horse. Just cut your losses, man. I was talking to my dad. Uh, so my, my extended family has been having problems lately. Uh, monetary problems, like a lot. Because they're terrible uh -huh. with money, and my dad has kind of a low opinion of a lot of them as a result. Because, uh -huh. I mean, my dad made good financial choices in his life, and also, you know, bothered to go to all of high school and college, unlike most of them. Uh -huh. uh, so, as, as such, he gets a little bit... I'm not going to say nasty, but he will definitely judge my relatives a little bit. So, he's uh -huh. got, he's got a, uh, a nephew. I'm not sure if the nephew's named after him or whatnot... But uh, it's very obvious that my dad does not think highly of him. Because um, he, he was talking about this nephew. Oh, I did not mean for that to happen, but that's okay. Uh, but so this nephew just lost his job, has no income, really doesn't have a whole lot of marketable skills either. And uh -huh. uh, has this dog uh, that I guess broke its leg or something. Which is, you know, uh -huh. really sad and whatnot. But as a unemployed mm. person, you really shouldn't have to ha be, like, taking care of, you know, a dog. Especially uh -huh. a not, like, fully healthy one. And so he said that he, uh, if it were him, he'd just, like, shoot the dog. And I'm like, oh, oh, I forgot you grew up Dang. in the country and that's, like, normal. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's, okay. uh, that's that was a little hard. That was a little hardcore for me. And then I thought, you know, my mom would say the same thing. It's weird. Yeah, that makes it sound like your parents are oddly, like, very right for each other, then. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they are. It's... They're I know, a very nice couple, couple, 
but they're so utilitarian about things. Like, it's very obvious mm. that they grew up poor and um, in the country. Yeah. And as such, haven't quite totally escaped, um, you know, some of that, that mentality. Way of thinking about things. Yeah, I yeah, hear ya. Despite the fact that my dad is, like, world famous for his, like, bioinformatics work. And mm. uh, my mother is quietly, like, a very skilled investor, apparently. Uh, mm. Once my brother had told me that my mother admitted that she made more than my dad. And I was like, that, she doesn't, she's a ho house, what? And apparently she's just very good at investing. I have a, a funny story from high school. So my um, my English teacher and one of the dumbest people I've ever met have the same last name as each other. And my English teacher was a very good teacher. So he looked up everybody that was taking his classes um, before they actually entered the class. And we talked to the previous teachers about them. So he knew that this guy was like... Completely fucking stupid. Just like hearing about like the nephew things just reminded me of the story. The very first day of class, he calls roll for everybody, and uh, like has little quips about ev like everybody's reputation basically. And uh, he gets to this guy, and he just says, um, "I won't dox him. Let's come up with a name." Um, Steve. Michaels. We'll go with okay. Michaels. So he was like, "Ah, hello, Mr. Michaels." And he was like, and then my dumbass friend was like, "Yeah, what's up?" And uh, they had, they both have the same last name as each other. So he just says, "I want the rest of the class to know that we have absolutely no relationship with each other." And I, and I was like, "That was a pretty hardcore way to start that off." <laughs> it works. But that dude proved himself to be a complete idiot in that class because one time. He's coming, or we had like a, we had a, a midterm, so like, uh, it was December, because this is in high school, and you take classes for like forever in high school, so, uh, he, um, he comes in, and, uh, he basically pulls out a little bag of dirt, and sprinkles that shit all over his desk, and, uh, Why? so, my professor, or my, my teacher comes in, and uh, he just goes, Mr. Michaels, would you like to explain why you just poured dirt all over the classroom? And uh, dumbass was like, it's my holy dirt from Chimayo. It gives me be good luck on tests. And my teacher, I'd never seen him more mad. He was just like, you're gonna clean this up, or you're gonna fail this midterm before you even take it. And so, he had to go... We we had to start the fucking test late, so that this guy could clean up his damn dirt schmutz that he just spilled all over the damn classroom. Wow. That's pretty dumbassy. Uh, yeah. I have some really great dumbassy stories about this guy. If there's time for more, but... Jeez.